Hi, Caleb with Brownells here. In today's product spotlight, we're going to be taking a look at the Midwest Industries lower receiver block. So uh, there's plenty of bench blocks out there. Not a whole lot of them are made specifically to hold AR receivers. So I'm going to kind of dive right into it and show you what we have here. So this bench block comes in two versions, uh, the AR-15, and they also make it for the AR-308 platform of rifles as well. So that's really cool and something you don't see a lot of, something that will come in really handy. The block itself, um, it's made out of polymer, but it's pretty dense polymer. This is one of the, the better bench blocks I've actually held in a really long time. They're using really good material on these. And you know, Midwest Industries in general is known for quality AR parts. Uh, you've seen me talk about a ton of their AR parts in the past, but they just kind of recently got into the tool game full swing, I'll say. And uh, they've they've been hitting home runs with pretty much every tool they've come out with. I know recently I did a review on the uh, or a product spotlight on their new AR-15 wrench. So if you haven't seen that one, go check that out. But for now, let's just continue with the products on this one uh, before I get too excited. So the actual block itself, uh, you can see it has all these cuts in the top of it. Uh, but that's mainly just for clearance for the pins. And the reason they're all there is so you can take your AR-15 lower receiver or AR-308 if you're using the bigger version and just set it right down on there and it'll fit in the cuts. And the opposite side, you have clearance cut for your trigger pins uh, and ambidextrous safety if you're running one. So you don't have to worry about those getting in the way. And my favorite feature about this particular uh, lower receiver block is that it supports the tang where your trigger guard goes. So if you're gonna break something on your AR-15 lower receiver putting it together, it's gonna be that tang. And this pretty much eliminates uh, the, the worry for that because it's gonna be fully supported while you're driving that roll pin in. And something else to note on this block here, if you wanna mount it to your workbench, uh, there's three holes here that are made for mounting screws. So you can mount it to the edge of your workbench. So you can use this uh, bottom portion here. I'll show you what that's for in just a second. Other than a small parts tray, um, it's actually a magazine well attachment. So you can put this whole thing in your vise and use it as a lower receiver uh, block just for the mag well. And you don't just have to put the lower receiver on here. You can put this in a vise and put the complete rifle on there just as you can other uh, vise blocks of this type that mounted to the mag well. So another awesome feature there. And I know it's called a lower receiver vise block but kind of a bonus they put in here is an area for a low profile gas block so you can install that roll pin. So low profile gas blocks, you know, they whenever you put them on the table or other bench blocks and you're trying to install that roll pin, they're contoured so they wanna move all over the place. But the block itself is contoured so you just set it in there and using these holes here, you can line it up if you're removing a pin. So you just set it on there and it supports that gas block nice and easy so you can install or remove that pin. So that is the features of the new Midwest Industries lower receiver vice block. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. If you haven't already, go right now and hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.